most extreme condition I've driven in before this, I'd probably say just driving around London on a rainy day. <laughs> For me to enjoy this time out is so important. Take myself away from the normal hustle and bustle of London. I have a few memories of Range Rover. Seeing like my first drive through the estate. And it's not a car that I would have seen around there. I see Range Rover as an inspirational car. From a young age, I always saw it as something that I wanted to aspire to, and that would mean that I've kind of accomplished some of my goals in life. And then my second memory was when my Range Rover actually was delivered. We had an SV autobiography, and it came in two-tone. Really ticked the box for me. It's a wonderful kind. They designed these cars for all terrain, going through the Range Rover experience. Out here has been phenomenal. Wish your Range Rover a happy birthday! Happy 50th birthday, baby! So we're currently at Finch ABC in Barnet, my second home, the home where I started my boxing career. And the importance of today is I've had their special vehicle, we've designed it with Range Rover, and I'm truly amazed at what they've created. It starts from the exterior, so there's like a little 258 on the side with the Great Britain flag. On the panelling, they've got Anthony Joshua, which is like my brand logo. They've got my crest as well outside. Then as you enter the car, on the handle, they've got these tiny details which have been crafted into the door handle with boxing gloves. They've got my signature on the seat. <laughs> Gonna hug this bad boy. <laughs> with the Range Rover, it caters for your own personal needs if you want to be cool, if you want to be stylish, elegant. And how it helped me prepare in terms of my preparation for the fight is from driving myself, I'm very comfortable, especially with the seats and the heated seats, the massage aspect to it. And if I am being driven, there is a first class feeling as if you're in an aeroplane. In regards to Pulev, I've never been so excited before. I'm back in London, back on my home turf, fighting against a formidable opponent, someone that I have to defeat. There's no victory of Pulev, there's no road to undisputed, so Pulev is my main focus and I'm glad that I've got this challenge. Training has already started, so I'm in a better place than I was last year due to the lessons I had to learn. And Pulev will reveal some new skills and a definitely new style of boxing. Ruiz was a lot shorter, a lot wider, Pulev is a lot taller, a lot slimmer, so it will require a different strategy and tactics. The fight can happen when Tyson Fury gets past Deontay Wilder and when I get past Kubrat Pulev. If Fury wants that fight to happen, he'll make it happen. And congratulations to him on his last performance. He's had two good fights in his career, in my opinion, against Klitschko and Deontay Wilder. And he's managed to win them both, so he's on a high right now. But he has to be careful what he wishes for, because the young gunners are coming up and will definitely take that Tyson Fury challenge with both hands.